Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be all about this very fresh and dewy minimal makeup look. Now this is the kind of makeup that I tend to wear every single day. However, most days I will admittedly have a cat eye flick. I can't help it. I do love winged eyeliner very much, but I'm going to be showing you how I do it without winged eyeliner and the things that I like to reach for when I'm trying to go for a really fresh and dewy looking face. And do keep on watching if you would like to see how I got this look. So I'm now looking very fresh faced and I'm going to start off by using some of the Glossier Balm.com. This is the coconut one. I hate the scent of this to be completely honest. Uh, and this is, you know, it's, it's not the best lip balm but it does the job. So I'm just going to apply that very liberally. I tend to get very dry lips so I always need to have a good lip balm on me. My favourite is the Nooks Rope de Neal but I've run out so <laughs> I'm using this one as a bit of a backup. Now I haven't moisturised so I'm going to actually add my foundation to my moisturiser so I can have a really nice light base. When I want to have really minimal makeup I actually just don't wear any foundation or any concealer at all. I'll just go as is. I do have a little bit of redness around here which is from my dermatitis. I can't really help that but I just let my skin do its thing. <laughs> but today I am going to wear a little bit of base. So the moisturiser that I've been using lately has been the Le Mer, uh, the soft moisturising, wait, the moisturising soft lotion. I really, the packaging of this is just absolutely beautiful but the product is really lovely as well. Um, it's not too heavy and it's not too lightweight. Somewhere in the middle so I'm going to mix that with the Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation which is their new foundation launch and I really like this because it's actually got salicylic acid in it. So I'm just going to mix that on my fingers and I'm actually going to apply it with my uh, with my hands. And yeah, I'm just going to focus around the center of my face and then build out. So it's a little bit like making my own tint of moisturizer. I like the fact that it gives me a little bit of coverage but not too much and I feel like it makes my skin look really nice and glowy. I'll also just check that down my neck as well. Next I'm going to use the Rimmel Instafix and Matte Powder on my kind of T-zone, places where I tend to get a little bit shiny throughout the day and also underneath my eyes and I'm actually going to run this on my eyelids as well. I have quite oily eyelids and I find that doing this actually helps my uh, eyeshadow to stay throughout the day. It's a new thing that I've been adding into my routine and I've been finding that it actually makes a huge difference. Then I'm not going to add too much eyeshadow, I do want to keep this very natural. So I'm going to go with my Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess Eyeshadow Quad. Looks like this. I really like it. Very pretty. Oops. I'm going to start with this kind of uh, creamy beige shade. I'm just going to throw that all over my eyelid. What I love about this eyeshadow is that it blends out really beautifully and it's also highly pigmented so they're very easy to work with. Now I'm also going to mix these two shades here to um, drop into my crease just to give it a little bit of definition. And what I like about this is that it really helps to warm up the eye and I'm just blending that out with one of the Caramel Walker Sephora eyeshadow brushes. These are old, sorry, so I don't think you can get them anymore. Now usually I would apply an eyeliner, it's part of my signature look I guess in a way, but when I want something really easy and really natural looking I will forego it, but if I was going to apply one I do have a new favourite so I thought I would share this with you guys, it is the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen. This is really similar to that Maybelline one that I bang on about all the time. It's so easy to use, so that has been a new favourite. But I think we'll just move straight on to mascara and I have been using this mascara from Clinique. I actually don't know what it's called but I will drop it down in the description box below and I love this because it does not smudge and I have a real problem with I, um, mascara smudging on my brow bone and it's because I do have oilier eyelids and it just ends up wearing, I end up wearing it all on my brow bone at the end of the day so I love it when I can find a good mascara that stays and also makes my lashes look pretty good. It might not be the most lash lengthening or volumizing mascara that I've ever tried, but I love the way it makes my lashes look. I think it's really natural and as I said, the key is that it doesn't smudge, which really just makes it a huge winner in my books. Okay, so now that I have my eyes done, I might add a little bit of color to my face. Now, I'm a huge fan of cream products, especially when it comes to summertime. I just feel like it's the perfect time of year to whip those out and I have a few favorites. They're, they really are sort of my uh, face products of choice. So 
I've been using the Bobbi Brown Glow Stick in the shade Desert Sun a lot and it looks like this. Sorry if you can hear that drilling noise. Uh, so I just apply this either directly to my face or using a stippling brush and I'll just use a stippling brush today. So I'm just going to brush that on top of the product and then apply it directly to my cheeks and just blend upwards. And as you can see, it just adds a really nice flush to my cheeks. It looks really natural. Whereas I feel like, oh, my hair sticking to it a little bit. Whereas I feel like often powder products don't look quite as natural as a cream one does, which is why it's sort of my preferred type of face product. But I mean, I know it can be a little bit scary to work with and you have to work up. So it's really buildable and that's sort of the reason why I tend to go for them. But yeah, I love that. It adds a little bit of gloss and a bit of sheen to the cheeks as well. Then for a little bit of bronze, I'm going to use the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. If you're familiar with my channel, you will know I love this. I have hit pan on both the highlight and the contour. I really like this just mostly not for contouring because I do have quite strong uh, cheekbones as it is, just the shape of my jaw. So I don't really want to highlight that too much. So I don't really contour it. But yeah, I'm just gonna swirl that around in there and then apply it mostly to the high points of my face as opposed to bringing it down here because I feel like the glow stick does a really good job of adding color to my cheeks so I don't really need to pull the bronzer down too much. So yeah, I'm just gonna start up here. I've been using the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate for a number of years now and I really like it. It's definitely more warm tone so I don't really feel like it's ideal for a contour. Also sweep that across my nose and the center of my face. And I'll also bring it down my neck a little bit as well. So next I'm gonna use the Glossier Halo Scope. This is in the shade Quartz. I love this, I love the fact that it's got the little moisturizing center. And I feel, again, like this is a really natural look rather than going in with a highlighting powder which I feel looks really visible on the skin and I think it just, adds a nice dewiness when you're using a cream. So I'm gonna apply this directly to my face, but you can also just rub your finger on it and apply it that way. So I'm just gonna add a little stripe on each side and then blend it in. The Halo Scope's probably one of my favorite products from Glossier, and what I love about it is the fact that it doesn't really have any shimmer to it, so it just adds a nice sheen or glossiness to your cheeks, which is what I am all about when it comes to highlight. Now I've got two more steps, brows and then lips. So for my brows, I think today I'm gonna to use the Rimmel Brow This Way Fiber Pencil. As you can probably tell, I've used up quite a bit of this already, but the other product that I like for really fluffy and minimal brows um, is the Glossier Boy Brow. And I think, what shade do I have this in? I've got it in the shade Brown. This is really easy to use. However, there's not a lot of product in here, which is really frustrating. So I've been sort of saving what is left in here for special occasions because I don't know when I'm gonna have a chance to order some more by mail forwarding. But yeah, so the Brother Sway Fiber Pencil actually has little fibers in the pencil. They look like little hairs, and I've tried to do a close-up of this, but it's impossible. But it's very, very cool, and it's really easy, and I think it's great for natural brows and just for filling in those spaces where you, you know, your hairs are a bit sparse. So on this brow here, I've got a little bit of sparseness here, and also like to fill in the front part of my brows. So um, I'm gonna do that now. I feel like it's a really easy product to use, which is why I've been reaching for it daily, and I apply it with a really light hand. Once I've filled in all the gaps, I then use a spoolie to brush them out, which helps to distribute the product a little bit and also make it look a bit more natural. Finally, I've just got my lips to do, and I really just wanna warm up my face a little bit, so the lipstick that I've been reaching for a bit recently has been this one from Bite Beauty. It's one of their it's the matte cream lip crayons, and this is in the shade Pesh, and I love this color also. I love this product because, hold on, let me show you. It has a sharpener on the end, so you can actually sharpen the tip and have a really pointed tip if you need to, but I'm just gonna apply that all over my lips. This does have quite a matte finish, so if you want something that looks a little bit more glossy, then I'd recommend just putting any clear lip gloss over the top, as this is a really beautiful shade. I also like to use my finger just to rub it in a little bit, as I feel like that helps to distribute the color and blend it into my lips a little bit and make it a bit less bold. 
So this is the finished look. It's really fresh looking. It's really simple. It's really easy. It's that sort of makeup that is just working to elevate your features rather than to hide them, which I really like. And I love that whole idea of celebrating your beauty rather than trying to mask the things that you don't like. All of the items that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do let me know if you did and if you want to see more things like this because I do love playing with makeup. I find it really fun so you know I would would totally be up for doing a few more beauty videos if it's up your street and yeah I will see you next time with a brand new one. See you soon. Bye!